Hey, what's up guys? Nils here, welcome back to another video. So, new update with new bunch of uh, trial rooms has dropped, which means guys that we can actually go ahead and complete room 44 at this point. Now, I previously said that it should have been out in the last update and I was actually certain because even now we're actually strong enough just as the update has dropped to actually do it. So, once again, I'm paired up here with Mean who is uh, quite a lot stronger than me. He's almost three times stronger. He's currently at 154 and we're gonna run through 44. We're gonna check out how much damage we actually need to complete and what are the rewards out of it. There is a couple of good stuff in terms of relics. I'll show you guys right after uh, this whole thing uh, finishes. So let's zoom through this whole thing and we're gonna check out everything. Alright guys, so there you have it, we're currently at room 43 and we are about to head to the boss room. So, pretty nice and easy so far and it's not gonna be pretty much any difference within the next room. Now, I did forget to pop my damage potion, which we probably should do. So I'm just gonna use it right here. And boss's HP currently at 702 QIVG, so the boss is pretty beefy. It is actually the Sand uh, King or Sand Queen or whatever it's called from the previous map uh, visually and this boss actually has a pretty interesting damage relic guys which might be the replacement to lockbook from now on and onwards i don't know if that will be the case for free to play players as well that's something that we have to check but uh, anyway let's kill out the boss and let's see maybe just maybe we get lucky enough to see the level 50 or rather the mythical relic which is the only one that we haven't seen so far so Maybe this is the one that we get to see it. I think it's a power relic, considering we haven't encountered a power relic yet. But uh, we'll know more once we actually get to find that. No, I think nobody has found it quite yet. So maybe we get the first ones to see it. Alright guys, so after calculating the damage that me and Min did combine and uh, looking at the time difference, I would pinpoint that the damage requirement for 44 is actually at 3.5 QIVG, something like that. Might be a little bit off on the number, but uh, this is what my maths give me. Might be a little bit off, but I would say something around 3.5 is the number that you're looking for to kill this boss. Oh, uh, anyway, let's have a look at the relics. As I said, no mythical relic has been found quite yet. Maybe if somebody finds it by the time that uh, this video goes up, uh, I will make sure to include it in the picture. So uh, let's check out what the relics that we actually get. So starting on here with uh, the one that I actually got, this uh, rare trash bag right here. 4500 damage it's not too bad it's not good it's like flat damage now in first glance you're gonna say that this is bad right like it's just a better version of um, sorcerer gloves but here is actually the catch now the next relic the epic one that you get is this special plant now this plant gives you 400 crit at level one 1400 multiplier and just a tiny 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 bit of damage right now 
I didn't have a locked book at level 1 to test, but what I basically tried to do was I tested this level 1 plant with the damage, like the flat damage boost gloves, and I went ahead and tested like how the outcome was now. The outcome, I think, was pretty close, but uh, I didn't have a locked book level 1 to test it. That being said, now I do, so we can actually just real quick jump in and uh, test it ourselves. So I'm just gonna unequip this, I'm gonna unequip this, I'm gonna equip uh, level one with even feather and level one locked book. And I'm gonna go over to the dark forest and actually test it out myself. So uh, let's go here. Okay, so let's see our DPS now. Our DPS should be something, if it's lower than 600, it's 100% positive at this point that uh, it's doing more damage. Now, actually, it's not going to be 600 because we don't have a damage put on. That was uh, assuming that you had a damage potion available, right? So, let's see. 270, 280, 290. Okay, so 290 peak. I don't think it's going to hit 300. It's struggling. Okay, maybe 300 peak, right? So, 280 to 300 peak. That's what we're looking at. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swap to a plant and a trash bag and you guys are gonna see the damage now i think it's gonna give us more i think so again not 100 percent sure that's uh something to figure out and there we go yeah just as i expected guys 300 305 310 it looks as if it's a little bit better now my dps did start falling off again i don't know why but i think that it's better now another reason why even if they're equal this setup is better is because this plant is epic right it's not rare which what does that mean guys that essentially means that uh it can go higher than level 25 like rare relics cap at level 25 which is uh really really low level so you pretty much just have the chance to actually level your relic even further more which uh it's just going to give you more damage in the long run. Now, there is one extra combination that I would like to test out once I get it. So I want to test this special plant with the Chunk of Darkness. If you guys remember that relic, that is uh, the legendary relic from uh, Rome 40. I have found it a couple of times, but uh, unfortunately, I always ended up deleting it. So not the smartest play by me. But once I find it more, I will test out every single combination, guys. And I will let you know about the most ideal scenario. But anyway, that was pretty much it for this room 40, guys, and the relics. So yep, as always, if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all on the next video. Take care.